Hi, I'm Frances Proctor, otherwise known as Angel Eyes Online. Today I'm going to show you a great new font you can find at TalkGraphics.com. Celebrated Bergeon Ornaments is a unique font comprised of hand-traced designs from a turn-of-the-century catalog of pottery stamps created by a group of volunteer members of Talk Graphics Typography Group. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly use this font in Zara Designer Pro 7 to create a beautiful certificate. So, you ready to create? Let's go. Okay, to start, I'm using a standard US letter size page. If you're using an A4 size page, you will need to make adjustments in the layout to allow for the difference in page size. So let's get started. First, we're gonna start with the paper background. I'm gonna just grab a, make a rectangle here with the rectangle tool. And I'm gonna open up the color editor. And I'm gonna adjust the color of this. We're gonna use kind of an orangey yellow and I'm going to bring this up, setting it sort of in the middle of the color box here in the color editor. Maybe make it a little brighter. Something like this. You could maybe just give it a hint more orange. You can really play around with this. It, each one of these you do will come out slightly different. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that. Now the next thing I am going to do is with this rectangle selected, I'm gonna clone it by hitting Control K on the keyboard. Now you can see I have got an exact copy right on top of the other one. This one I'm going to make much lighter and a bit brighter. Something like that. Like I said, you can really play around with these. So now I'm going to get the transparency tool. And from the drop down list, I'm going to choose fractal plasma. Now I'm going to click anywhere here on the paper. And this will activate the fractal resolution and the fractal scale fields. <clears throat> so the fractal scale, I'm going to pull the slider all the way over to 100%. And the fractal resolution, I'm going to set at about 200. And hit enter. Now I'm going to zoom in just a bit more here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the outer transparency handles. And this will allow me to set the end transparency and I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to have to smooth things out a bit. Let's have a look at it at around 60%. Yep, yeah, that looks good. So at this point, you can leave it like this or you can hold down the control key and adjust the handles to get something you like. This looks good to me. So this is basically our paper background. Now at this point you can go control A and control C, I mean control G, sorry, to select both rectangles and group them. <clears throat> now we're ready to add our ornaments. So we'll get the type tool and we'll just go down here to find our celebrated Bergeon ornaments font. There it is. Now I am going to start by just clicking anywhere on the page and I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit 
shift I as if I was typing a cap I four times. Now I am going to set the point size at about, let's have a good look. Let's actually set it at about 72 points. That looks pretty good to me. Now this is going to give us one section of our top border. <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is using the right mouse button, I'm just going to click and drag with the right mouse button to create a copy. And I'm going to flip it horizontally. Now at this point, I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to scale them just to make them a bit bigger. We're going to fit them using the magic snapping into the so that they line up centrally. Now the next thing we're going to do is get the corner pieces and the pieces that go in here in the middle. So back to the text tool and this time we're going to type a lowercase j. There we are. <clears throat> now, I'm going to line this one up right in between these two. You can see it's already starting to look pretty good. And I'm going to hold down the right mouse button again and drag and bring a copy over here. Now this one, I'm going to rotate it. So I'm here in the angle box here, I am going to type in 47 degrees and hit enter. Now I'm going to just line it up. I'm going to use the alt key to nudge it down so that it lines up with the top here rather than centrally and I'm going to move it over just a bit closer. <clears throat> now I'm going to right click and drag again and bring this over here and again I'm going to flip it horizontally and I'm going to use the alt key again to just bring this over just a bit. Now I am going to select this whole bit and nudge the whole works over just to line it up. And I think we'll just bring this down from the top of the page just a bit. All right, so that's the top part of our border. Now I'm going to right click and drag to make another copy of this and this time I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm going to rotate it until we have a vertical border piece. Now this time I am also going to take the text tool and I am going to just click here anywhere here and I am going to hit shift I two times. And this will just make this just a little bit longer. And again, we're going to pull this down, line it up so it looks nice. Now you notice that there's some extra space here at the bottom. We will fill that in in a minute. And I'll drag a copy of this down here. line it up 
flip it vertically. Let's nudge this up just a bit more. I want this to look nice. And now at this point, I am going to go up here and I'm going to copy. I'm going to drag a copy of these three elements and bring them straight down, flip them vertically, and you can see we're almost there. <clears throat> Bring this over, flip it horizontally, make sure it lines up. Use the Alt key to nudge it just up just a bit if you have to. Now, I'm simply going to select the whole works now. And I'm going to use the Alt key again, and I'm just going to nudge this down. And I think I'll just kind of make it just so it's central and centralized in the page. And we can actually I think I'm going to nudge sides in just a little bit. Now this will allow some extra space around the edges of your certificate if you desire to print it out and frame it. Now, to finish off the certificate, I'm going to add kind of a central piece that will fade into the paper. So we'll just click anywhere with the type tool. And I'm going to click and I'm going to type it a lowercase i. I'm going to select this with the selector tool and I'm just going to scale it up. That looks pretty good. And using this magic snapping, we'll just snap it to the center of the page. And the next thing I'm going to do is with the transparency tool, I'm just going to use the slider up here and just set the transparency on this. So we're going to add some text over this, so we just want it to kind of appear softly, kind of almost there. About 85, maybe about 90%. Transparency looks good on this. <clears throat> now, before I proceed with the text, what I'm going to do is select all the elements on the page. I'm going to change the color to this dark yellow on the color line down here. And let's just jazz it up a little more. Let's select all of our all of these little pieces. And I'm going to give them a, a medium dark red color. <clears throat> there. Now that's starting to look pretty good. Now for the text, I'm just going to use a nice script font. I have one here called Edwardian and I think I'm going to use that. Now I'm just going to click and drag to create a text box. 
and I don't think we need 72 point text for this. I think I'll do well for the top part for the headline I I think I will do 48 point and we'll make this a certificate of appreciation. And we'll leave this maybe in the red color. Maybe I will bump that up. Let's bump that up to about, let's try 60. Yeah, that looks good to me. And I'm going to center justify that. Now I am going to Make the next line 36 point, and I am going to make it the dark yellow color. And I think we'll just add in a bit more type. Presented to, and I'm just going to use the underscore here just to create a line that could be filled in by hand, or you could use a nice handwritten font. And I'm going to just move that down. And I am going to add in one more line. Make it seem kind of fancy here on this date of And maybe we'll hit enter just to move that down. And at the very bottom, we'll give it a place to be signed. We've got to make our certificate look official. And I think I'm going to highlight this. And uh, maybe we'll just put it, we'll just move it over a bit. And maybe move it down. So it can be signed over here. And that's pretty much it doesn't take long and I think that looks really nice thanks for watching